exposure activists and talk a little bit about how I promote our work on Twitter. Um, and I'll probably address a couple of other social media channels too. So once again, same old thing. We have this account. We set it up in January, so we don't have a ton of followers yet. Uh, but I follow about a thousand people and uh, those people are pretty much what creates my stream. There's been a lot of talk about the um, eclipse. There were actually sightings and photographs that we're going to go look for, but this tabby star thing is really interesting. They call it the alien megastructure because it's a star that appears when we look at it like there are some sort of external forces um, exerting some sort of influence on the star which is making it behave in a way that is very strange, uh, apparently. So they've been looking at this tabby star for quite some time now. And here's a report from our friend Close Encounters. He makes great videos. I would like to give him a shout out. Um, but I will say that he, we don't always agree with his content, but we think he's a great contributor to the disclosure movement. So it's always nice to see his never ending contributions. Um, so let's see. Okay, we don't need that. Um, so just taking a look to see if there's anything super interesting. I'm a little fussy about which UFO sightings I get excited about these days because not all of these UFOs are non-terrestrial and I'm more interested in non-terrestrial phenomenon, uh, phenomena. Um, so I'm not sure about this angel-like figure, so that I will pass by. I like to look for things where there are a lot of people talking about the same thing or have come across a piece of evidence, um, you know, that everyone's talking about rather than some of these kind of anomalies just because the long tail of the disclosure phenomenon is so long <laughs> and deep and weird. So um, I try to keep it to things that I feel comfortable with, um, you know, even things like ominous pink clouds I'm not as interested in. Um, the best thing to do in this case, so there's a some sort of UFO. I'm really looking for the orbs and the light chips at this point uh, because the benevolent contingent are extra dimensional or interdimensional and so some a lot of those phenomena are actually things that they're they're doing uh, from across the veil um, and well, you know wouldn't appear to us like a metallic you know ship or anything like that um, so I'm gonna look for UFO eclipses because there were some good photos and videos coming out I am told there are gonna be some significant mass sightings soon um, so that's something that we're hoping is going to be part of this disclosure thing, which seems to be happening, and uh, hopefully we'll see the outcome of all of our work and the work of people like Steve Bassett and uh, Dr. Stephen Greer and other people, Linda Moulton Howe, who, Howe, who have you know worked tirelessly on this, um, as well as a lot of channelers and experiencers. So there's been um, some really great stuff. So let's see. Oh, so this is from our friend Cheryl Costa who wrote an article before the eclipse about eclipses and UFOs and uh, Nick Pope also talked about the UFOs that we were going to see during the eclipse and I was also told that we would see UFOs during the eclipse so so this does seem to be the case um, so I only have about a minute left in this video I guess I would say um, you know the best thing uh, to do is to get on Twitter and follow people like me and you will learn what the important hashtags are for instance so we use disclosure uh, lately we've been using shift happens um, but if you follow the disclosure hack hashtag you're gonna get a lot of information there and I always make sure that I um, use the disclosure ha uh, hashtag when I'm reporting on news or information or new evidence that's emerged. So um, I invite you to enjoy us uh, and to also join us in this movement. Um, and, uh, you know, together I think we can make this uh, miraculous event happen.